uh, representing a number of people who have been involved with this, uh, including the Wilder family. Um, uh, if you uh, have ever had a chance to meet and know Buster Wilder, you know uh, the kind of man that he was and what he meant to our community, uh, Franklin High School, Franklin County in general. Uh, you know the impact he had not only on uh, the court and on the field, but also in the hearts of our students. All those he didn't just coach, but that he mentored and he worked with over the years. Um, coach Wilder's heart for others was um, as ever present as his toothpick in his mouth. And um, uh, I have a nice little pack of cinnamon toothpicks still in my, my home, but every now and then I'll take one out just to kind of have that moment. I don't know how you chew it every day, but um, it was still something just you just, just know with it. Um, we did not have a chance at his passing to recognize him and to honor his memory the way we wanted to. I mean, weren't able to have that kind of gathering um, that we would like to have had. And um, we've been trying to make sure that we could do something that was fitting, not just for a, a moment, but also for a lasting uh, uh, testament to his legacy. Um, after meeting with the Wilder family, uh, talking to some of our community, uh, we really feel that uh, uh, putting something uh, more permanent in place at our school beyond just a plaque uh, would really be appropriate. And um, the Franklin High School um, staff and faculty, the greater Franklin County Schools community, would like to propose the naming the Franklin High School gymnasium floor after Coach Lester Wilder. We feel it's a perfect place to honor his memory and his legacy for generations to come. A um, couple of quick pictures. Uh, this is absolutely just a, a very quick rendition, um, but uh, looking at something similar to this, there are other um, floors that have been done similar to this around. Uh, about 15 feet is the size that we'll be looking at with the, uh, the company. We've already gotten some uh, uh, things in place that we can I can kind of share with you about the scope of the work that will be done uh, as we get approval for it. And uh, there will be two, one on each side of the court, uh, basically facing the visitor side, one facing the home side. Uh, one appropriately is going to be over there on the side where at a basketball game, uh, Lester would sit kind of over in the corner in our, our gym uh, with a couple of other people who always wanted to question every call that a referee made. Um, and that's where we also would like to have a plaque over there on that side uh, in his memory. Um, the scope of the work um, is, is relatively straightforward. Um, we already had in place uh, having our floors refinished on November 22nd. Um, in order for us to um, have the lettering done on our court, it had to be done in a very short time frame prior to the 22nd of November. Otherwise, you leave basically a bare court there with uh, bare paint on it and try to keep PE class all of us almost impossible. Uh, J and J flooring um, did not have an opportunity to come in and work with us until just recently, and we have actually been able to secure the date on November 18th. So that way they can come in and actually uh, screen the floor, do the lettering that the family will approve, um, and then we'll actually have the, the floor completely refinished just before basketball season so it'll look seamless and uh, be ready for us to uh, have that recognition somewhere around the beginning of December. Uh, we're hoping for the first Friday night home game that we have uh, with the family uh, there to have a, uh, uh, a dedication service uh, for Coach Waller. And all of this obviously comes with the need for approval because it does uh, begin to name uh, a part of our campus uh, in someone's uh, honor. Uh, and I know policy uh, is a 9300, sorry. Um, we would need to have you to approve that uh, in order for us to move forward on the project. Um, the dates are set. We do have everything approved and ready to go. Uh, the funding cost is about $1,500, which our athletic department has already agreed to pay. Um, I know we'll have some people who will obviously step in and be glad to help cover that, but uh, we, we feel it's a, a wonderful thing to go ahead and just submit that um, uh, on our campus and have that in place for the start of the school year uh, for basketball season appropriately starting up uh, in November. Work with the Wilder family to make sure they approve uh, the final lettering uh, and that uh, we'll have an unveiling on that first uh, December home game that we have. Thank you, Dr. Holland. So, the pertinent aspect of board policy 9300, if I can refer you to four current schools, facilities, such as media centers, auditorium, athletic facilities, classroom buildings, administrative buildings, etc. Taking into consideration for naming after persons that meet the following criteria. The name being maybe in honor or memory of an individual who has helped students in a particular school and the school system succeed through financial contributions 
or educational leadership. And the name may be that of an education leader of confidence and reputation beyond the school system. However, priority will be given to names of education leaders who have directly or independently helped students in this school system succeed. So that is the board policy pertinent to this request. So on behalf of Franklin High School, Franklin County Schools, we come to you tonight seeking a motion, seeking permission to proceed with uh, the floor of the West Wilder Court in honor of his long-standing contributions to athletics and particularly basketball in the Franklin School community. So if you have any questions for Dr. Holland or I, we'll do our best to answer. Questions or comments? 